Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about a planner that I love, and that is the Louis Vuitton Dusk Agenda. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I've had this Dusk Agenda in Demir Graffiti since last May, and um, I've used several different things in it. So I thought today would be a really great time to talk to you about the Dusk Agenda, what you could put in it, give you some comparisons and ideas and suggestions because I get a ton of questions every single time I post about it, about what fits in it and what to use and things like that. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful. I also want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, Skillshare, and I will talk about them more later on in the video. So let's get started. Now, if you watched my last video, I currently have the monogram desk agenda that I just received and I have the Hobonichi Cousin in it. So um, the first step to setting up your desk agenda is figuring out what you actually want to use for planning. And this might be the hardest part because there are so many good options out there. And what I've been using this year is the Hobonichi Cousin. And I love this because there are basically all the layouts you could possibly ever need. There's the weekly, there's the daily, and there is a monthly as well. So you really have everything all in one place. There are also some trackers at the very beginning and you can use them in a variety of ways as well. So I'll link above a video about my Hobonichi cousin so that way you can look at this if you're interested. The other thing that I've also used in the desk agenda is a Stalogy. So this one is a um, half year size Stalogy and you could also get the Hobonichi in an EVEC size, which is a half a year as well. So this is also a really fun option if you need more blank pages and less layouts. I think it's really great to use the EVEC or the um, half year Stalogy in addition to something else. Now, I know you wanna ask me, what's the something else that I recommend that you use? Well, there's a couple different options and the one that I loved using last year, especially in this planner is a disc bound setup. Now I currently have this on one and a half inch discs and that is not, I would say the best size for the desk agenda, but I wanted to show you because I know um, people ask me this all the time if it will fit and it does, but I don't know. I don't love it. So right now I don't have the pages like totally full and you'll see when you have the one and a half inch discs, it is definitely a little bit bigger. So on the side here, you can see that the tabs stick out. So it's not really like a big deal to me, but it might be for you. And that's why I wanted to show you guys what the one and a half inch discs looks like on the Louis Vuitton desk agenda. Now, what I recommend is one inch discs or um, three quarter inch discs, depending on what you're doing. So one of my favorite things to do is to actually have discs and then a notebook together. So um, if you've been following me, I'll link some videos in the description box as well. But if you've been following me over the last year, this is what I did for my planning system in 2019. I did a disc bound notebook here in the front. And then I did either the Stalogy or the Hobonichi Cousin Evac in the back. So um, this is a really great system if you feel like you can't you know, let go of a notebook, but you can't let go of inserts either. And to be honest, there are some things that are great in inserts and some things that are great in a notebook. Um, as I mentioned before, the one and a half inch discs are a little bit large, so it doesn't quite fit in here. But if you um, have the one inch discs or three quarter, in my opinion, is the best option, um, this actually fits perfectly. So I'll link some videos below where I show that. And I think it looks really, really cute. And it really gives you the best kind of like 
hybrid functional system. The other thing that I've done, um, which I don't have here to show you because I've taken it all apart, but the other thing that I've done is also um, taking A5 size rings and putting them in here as well. So that is completely an option for you if you like A5. And I think that's one of the reasons why this desk agenda is so versatile and such a great purchase. So before we move on, I wanted to pause and talk about today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Now, Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of different videos in a variety of different topics. And one thing that I really like about Skillshare is that there's literally any topic to be found. Now, in the last few weeks, I've been really thinking about upping my social media game, especially on my personal lifestyle account. And so what I found was so many different videos about content creation and Instagram and things like that. And the one class that I watched this week that I really enjoyed is called uh, Personal Branding, Crafting Your Personal Brand from Kate Ahrens. And I really, really enjoyed her class um, and even the worksheets that came with it. I haven't done it yet, but even just listening and thinking through some of the questions that she had, I got so much inspiration and really got my creative juices flowing in figuring out how to improve my social media content. I definitely recommend that you check out Skillshare. The first thousand people who click the link in the description box below will get two months free. And after that, it's less than $10 a month to have your own subscription. So hopefully you guys will check that out and let's get back to the rest of the video. The desk agenda currently retails for $600 from Louis Vuitton and the price did go up a little bit in the most recent price increase from Louis Vuitton. However, it is one of the more affordable options on their planner lineup. Um, the GM is like almost $900 and then the MM I think is like 600 something. So in terms of this, I feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck. The one thing that I don't love is um how it doesn't have a closure or a pen loop but i'll show you a little bit later in the video the things that i've done in the past to help me out with that so um what is great or maybe not depending on your feeling on it is that the front has this one large pocket this slip pocket oh i have something in there and then this pocket as well. And then on the back, there is this card pocket and then one, two, three, four, five, six card slots. So you can do a number of different things and be really creative with how you use it. So I've seen it um, where people will put like their actual wallet cards in here. You could put some decorations in here, which I've done in the past. And I like to do kind of like alternating so that it's not totally full. And the other thing that I do is put like a really cute larger size card, like a three by four card in this bottom slot. So um, I really enjoy that. And the pockets, I think, are something that you can decorate to really make the planner feel more personalized and more you. So in this example here, I have um, taken a really pretty patterned paper. This is actually just a scrap of paper. And then these two cards from cloth and paper to um, kind of spice things up and, and have a little bit of pretty inspiration. And um, I really like that, to be honest. The other thing that I've done in this one, I love how these colors look together, is done a little bit more layering as well with these cards. And then I would put like a smaller card here, for example, like this one. And then I think that looks really cute as well. So lots of different options to make your planner look fun and more personalized with your pockets. And then the final thing that I like to do is this little card. So I've gotten these um, little adhesive pen loops from Amazon and I'll link that in the description box below and then you can stick a pen inside the loop. Now this one is starting to kind of like not look so great because I've used it for a really long time and then this chunky pen is not entirely meant to be in it but I'm really liking this pen right now and also I'm really liking what my nails look like right now. Anyways um yeah the pen 
pen loop on a card I think is a really great idea. In the future if I were to do this I would definitely laminate the card first before sticking it on but I never thought that I'd be using this for so long and this card is from the planner spot. So I'm gonna stick that back in here. So there you go. Those are my three steps on setting up your Louis Vuitton desk agenda. So number one is pick out your insert. So you have so many different options from a Hobonichi Cousin, which I have here, a Stalogy, or even a disc bound setup, or even rings, which is super exciting. Um, I forgot to mention when I did the ring bound setup, I did um, like a clear binder that I cut up, but I've also seen people buy just the rings and you can do that just fine as long as you have like a stiff kind of a dashboard to stick in and then you know even doing a hybrid is really cool so again i'll show you what that is kind of like so you can have discs smaller discs than these and a notebook to kind of create a whole planner and customized system. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you're interested in the desk agenda, I definitely recommend that you check out my other videos on it. And I will talk to you guys next time.